Hello, we are group 43 and group 71. No, we are going to present to you our engineering training work. A rescue system based on smart cars. First, let me introduce to you our group members. They are Sam Yao, Richard Liao, Penny Pan, and Chao Ying Wang in Group 43. And Jason Ye, Hang Chen, and Sean Liu in Group 71. First, let us introduce the framework of our rescuing system to you. In many emergency cases, human beings are not able to enter the site of accidents. For example, when a severe earthquake takes place, a plenty of buildings crash into shambles. Therefore, we need to detect those shambles in order to save people's lives. Since human detecting is time resuming, we hope to use robots to search for specific items and bring them back to designated spot. And that is why we designed the rescue system using smart cars. The framework of our rescue systems can be divided into three levels. For hardware level, we have the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino board, the smart car, the gripper, the USB and Wi-Fi connector, the ultrasonic sensor, the infrared sensor, the camera, the LM controller, and the voice recognition device. For interface level, the most important part is the central controller, in which the Raspberry Pi acts like the brain of the smart cars, while the adrenal board acts like the nervous centralis of the smart car. Then comes the motion control module. We make use of the motors to make the car move. The communication module uses USB serial and Wi-Fi connector to realize communication. And lastly, for the environmental detect module, we have ultrasonic sensor to register at the checkpoint and the infrared sensor to patrol the line. Moreover, we have lead motion for hand gesture input and speech recognition for voice input. A rescue system design is based on the priority setting principle. If only one command is given to the smart car, it will execute it without doubt. However, when there are multiple control modules, we may encounter resource contention. This sharing of resources will limit the performance of the smart car and lead to an unstable state. Therefore, we set priorities to the control modules. The higher one, which can control the other module, through which we can avoid this scenario. Lip motion is the highest control module, and other controls like the auto control mode is the lowest one. Now we are going to show you the detailed implementation of our rescue system. Lip motion. Lip motion is the highest control module of our smart car. It is a computer hardware sensor device that supports hand and finger motions as input, which does not require any hand contact or touching. We use different gestures to turn on the speech recognition mode and to control the car to go forward, backward, and to turn left and right. We can also use gesture to release the gripper. Speech recognition. We use left hand gesture to assign tasks to the material. We set the amount and color of the ping pong box. What's more, we can use right hand gesture to check with the material. Ni 
介绍一下我们的作品。这是一个模拟救援系统，希望你们喜欢。哪个老师最帅？陈斐和高博洋。Line picturing. We use the infrared sensor to patrol the designated lines, which represent the roads in real life. Communication and cooperation. Our communication mode is of the master-slave relation. The computer is the master, which can send command to the cars. When we use voice to command the car, the instruction is composed of the amount of the balls, which represent the injured people, and the color of the balls, which represent the level of injury of the wounded. In our system, the computer assigns different tasks to the two cars. For example, car A should be able to find two red balls, while car B has to find five green balls. Then they will try to accomplish their individual job and communicate with the computer via Wi-Fi to report their situation to the computer. When one car finishes its task, the computer will send command to it to help the other car. Therefore, they can help each other and cooperate with each other. At last, please see the final application of our system. Here are two rescue cars at a ready checkpoint. When they receive the task, they go to the entrance of the accident site. Then they respond to the task center and then automatically search the given colored balls in the accident area. After catching the ball, they patrol line to the hospital. Now, the task center is trying to assign tasks to car A, which has a pink flag, to catch a blue ball. When it's success, car A will go to the entrance. Now, car A arrives at the entrance. It responds to the center and then automatically search the board. Meanwhile, car B with a yellow flag also receives a task to catch two green balls. Now, car A has already catched the blue ball. And going to the hospital. At the same time, car B caught a green one and tried to send it back. When car A finished its job, the task center found it available, so the center asked it to turn around and rearrange the task that it led. Car A to help Car B to catch the last green one. Here, Car A is ready to enter the accident area again. Now it turns into automatically drive mode and track the last green ball. Since Car A catch the ball, the whole job. It's done.